Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I am doing a video that I think I've been talking about doing for probably a year. And that is a review and a wear and tear, especially on this bag, of my Chanel 22 bag. Like I said, it's been forever and a day that I have promised you guys that I would do this review. So let's talk about it. All right, so let's get into some of the particulars, as I like to call it, kind of the anatomy of the bag. So I have a couple notes here written down so I don't forget things. So the dimensions on this, and this is the, it doesn't really have a size. So there's the mini, there's the small, there's the large, and then there's just the Chanel 22. So we're gonna call her the medium because that's where it slots in. Like in, it's in between the small size and the large size. I don't know why they don't call it the medium, but it's just, if you look on the website or on the app, it's just called the Chanel 22 bag. So knowing that, it is 15.2 by 16.4 by 3.1. I don't know, honestly, which is the 15 and which is the 16. This It's kind of square-ish. You know, one dimension is like an inch bigger. But anyway, the current price for this bag is $5,800 in the United States. I feel like I paid maybe $5,100. So I actually got this on the very first release, which again, this is going back basically like two years because I'm, was this 22P or 22S? I don't know. You guys, sometime in the spring of 22 is when this bag came out and I got this, like I said, in the first release. It is the classic. So this is a, you know, like a glazed calf skin. It obviously has the gold Chanel writing on it and it has the, obviously the leather chain straps and then it has this little medallion on it. I do have this stuffed as you can see. Uh, you also probably can see so all of them have these additional snaps on the side so you can wear it more closed like that or sometimes I like to wear it this way where I have these open and then let this like I'll just wear it with one shoulder strap and then let this kind of dangle forward. But I do have it very, very well stuffed right now. So let's take that out along with the dust bag. So I do actually have an organizer in this. I did get this from Samorga. I'm pretty, yes, it says Samorga on it. So I got it from Samorga. Uh, I like having it. It definitely helps it stand upright. So, I mean, you can kind of see, obviously you can't see my lap, but it's just sitting on my lap right now. It's not falling over. So yeah, uh, this does obviously have the metal plate and then the only, I think I'm saying this right <laughs> now with an organizer, I kind of forget it. The only like sense of organization in this bag is a oh, wow. zipper pocket along the back wall here, which does basically go to the bottom of the bag. So it's a pretty deep pocket. So you could definitely keep a lot of valuables in there. Um, let me take the organizer out for a second. It does come with this keeper. I do not, in fact, I'm not even sure where the pouch is. So all of the 22s come with a pouch that matches the bag. So this one came with the black leather one and there's a little CC on it, kind of like the O case pouches, similar in, you know, they're very narrow, they're very thin, similar to what you would get as a pouch in a Neverfull, for example. And in my denim one, I got a denim one, etc. I don't use those. I don't put it on here. I don't do anything with this, especially in this bag. It sits underneath the uh, organizer. So I actually almost forgot that that was in there until I just took the organizer out. Uh, sorry, it's a little dirty in there. So it's leather up to kind of like almost where the zipper is. And then the rest of the bag is fabric lined and it is quilted. Hopefully you can see kind of the quilting on there. Um, you know, just says Chanel. Mine was made in Italy. Uh, 
that's pretty much the bag. You know, it's the bat same on the back, except obviously it doesn't have the Chanel letters on the back, but there are no pockets on the exterior of the bag. And you can then cinch this, you know, as much as, not as much, but you know, you can make the opening tighter if you want to. Um, and this is then basically what the bag kind of looks like if you don't have an organizer in it. So, you know, the comments about this bag <laughs> looking like a black trash bag, I kind of get it, you know, I know when it was walking the runway, <laughs> Uh, for the spring summer collection there were lots of comments from people about you know why is Chanel selling a black trash bag and I can get it I, I do I do think that the organizer helps kind of mitigate that a little bit and obviously if you're traveling this is a great bag because you can basically just put it flat it kind of reminds me of my Celine Romy bag that basically flattens out so you can really easily put it in a suitcase if you want to, like I said, take it traveling and you don't want to actually carry it necessarily on as your bag. So that is a basic tour of a Chanel 22 bag. All right, so let's talk about the elephant in the room. As some of you are probably aware, these bags, especially in the beginning, had a lot of issues. Um, and I don't actually think that it really was the initial batch that came out, but more the ones that came out, I think in either 22A, so like in the summertime, like in the June timeframe. Anyway, let, let's talk about mine. And spoiler alert, I don't have any wear on mine. <laughs> I mean, I will show you um, sort of up close here. You know, I personally, it's, you know, it's obviously it's kind of hard to see now, but I've, I've looked at this bag many, many times since owning it because obviously because there have been known issues. So that is the other side, the other one of this side. And then that is that one. And that is that one. So yeah, I don't, like I said, I don't see anywhere. Now, in all fairness, you know, I, I don't use this bag a ton, but I mean, it's gotten a decent amount of use, I would say. I mean, I certainly, the first couple of months that I got it, uh, and this was, you know, before I started my channel, I used this bag quite a bit in Kansas City. So I would say it's gotten a fair use. I mean, I, based on what other creators have experienced and the pace or the, um, I guess pace, the, the rapid pace, I guess, at which they noticed wear and tear. I mean, according to Super Jacob, his started having this like peeling issue within 20 to 30 minutes after he started to use it. So, you know, given I understand that I'm not a person who only has two bags and so I get, you know, a ton of wear and tear or I could get a ton of wear and tear on my bags because I only rotate between two. I rotate between a lot more than that. So I don't expect to see wear and tear like I would. But that being said, it seems to me like the people who have experienced issues experienced them very, very quickly. I mean, within probably the first week to two weeks, the first couple wears of having it. I have definitely used it more than that. I mean, I'm just taking a guess, but I mean, I'm guessing I've probably used it 30 times over the course of two years. And as far as, you know, what fits, because honestly, I don't think I really have anything more to say about wear and tear because I don't have any. I don't have any wear and tear on the bag, but you know, it's big, it's huge. I mean, even the small isn't that much smaller. I just happen to like the strap drop a little bit better on the medium the medium size, just the plain Chanel 22. Uh, you know, you can see, you can get everything in the kitchen sink in this bag, but it's very, very lightweight. So even when you add your items, it doesn't get super heavy. I find it very comfortable on my shoulder. I mean, I don't know that I've worn it like with a tank top or, you know, a spaghetti strap dress or something where it's literally sitting on my skin. I've probably always had something in between my skin and the bag, but 
that aside, I think it's a very, very comfortable bag. So yeah, like I said, I have nothing but great things to say about this bag. I would 100% get it in maybe another color or definitely in the mini size. Yeah, I really love it. It's a great bag. I mean, I know some people are afraid of it, but I would say go for it because I've had nothing but great experiences. All right. So here's the bag on me. As you can see, I did put the organizer back in it so you can see that it does now have some structure and you know the width of it is being maintained as opposed to just being like completely flat. But if you don't want to have that and if you feel like this silhouette is too bulky for you, you don't have to get an organizer. I happen to like it this way. I think it looks really nice. I don't by any means think that it looks too bulky on the body. I think it looks, you know, very slim and like I said, really contours to the body, even with an organizer in it. I do like the little medallion thingy to be kind of closer to the edge. It ends up sort of working its way, like it, it moves <laughs> when you're moving. So the chain, I think, kind of does run through, which probably explains also why people were seeing wear and tear on this area because like I said I'll be out and carrying this bag and all of a sudden the medallion has moved from like right here right by the opening like up to here and I, I won't have done anything when I get in it I don't like generally make it you know pull out the the, the scrunching <laughs> I mean, why can't I not think of the name but anyway my point is it obviously does sort of move on its own which may of course then contribute to having like I said more wear and tear on those it's not a corner but where the chain is fed through. Sometimes I will wear it like that to kind of give it a little bit of a different look with the chain dangling and you know it's still just as comfortable. I don't think it's any less comfortable and even if you have those snapped, I would also do it that way. And that's honestly, I don't generally unsnap the snaps. I generally keep the snaps closed. So even with the snaps closed, it's still a cute look. And actually I kind of like that better because the strap is just dangling kind of right towards the bottom of the bag as opposed to like below the bag. So yeah, and then obviously, you know, you can certainly crook the arm it or, you know, just hold it, but it, I, I find that it you know doesn't slip off my shoulders at all. I don't have to be walking like this. You know how there's sometimes when you have a shoulder bag, you feel like you have to have your hand on it, otherwise it's gonna fall off your shoulder. I don't feel like that at all. I feel like you know I can walk very comfortably around and not have to hold on to it, which for me, being a shoulder bag is very important. So that's it, my friends. That is my two year wear and tear review on my Chanel 22 bag, just the 22. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's going strong. I love it. I think it's a great bag. Let me know in the comments below, do you own this bag? Have you had any trouble with your bag? I would be very interested to know how many of you, if you have this bag, have encountered any problems. Or like I said, is it just that because we're in this community and we have a platform that obviously those people who have had problems are able to discuss it and make us aware of it, which is great. We should, right? I mean, that's part of YouTube is being able to find out information and find out wear and tear and what might be issues, etc. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy the content, I would love it if you would subscribe. Just click the subscribe button down below. It does not cost you anything. It is free to subscribe to a YouTube channel, but it really does help out us as creators. And if you haven't had enough of me yet, I will pop another video up here for you to watch. And wherever you are, I hope you are having an amazing day or evening. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.